let's talk about the clinical practice guideline for non-specific neck pain. Viratel published a practice guideline in 2018 for non-specific neck pain. This paper guides clinicians from history taking to treatment. During the first consultations, the patient will undergo a screening procedure to assess whether physical therapy is indicated. History, symptoms, presentations, limitations and general health are discussed. It's important to gain insight into the patient's environmental and personal factors, since these can influence chronicity. The therapist will also check for red flags. Potential red flags might be the following. Pause this video to have a more thorough look at this table. When red flags are present and inexplicable by a known pattern of neck pain, referral is recommended. The use of numeric pain rating scale and the patient-specific functional scale is advised to quantify pain and functional limitations. Your patient will want to know about the prognosis. About 50 to 95% of patients with neck pain will report neck pain one to five years later. More stats on prognosis and recovery can be found in the paper. While doing your examination, research has found that the following tests are the most valid. The upper limb tension tests for the median nerve, the spurling test, and the traction distraction test. Other tests are not recommended. For treatment, different modalities exist and a limit of three treatment sessions is advised. The following treatments have a moderate level of evidence mobilization, manipulation, and exercise therapy. A combination is recommended. Education is not strongly supported by evidence, yet experts state it's an essential part of therapy. Treatments with a very low level of evidence are dry needling, low-level laser therapy, electrotherapy, ultrasound, traction, and a cervical collar. These do not outperform placebo treatment and are thus not recommended. Therapists should evaluate their treatment at all times and end it when the goals are met. If no progress has been made after six weeks, it's not useful to continue treating since chances of achieving progress after this period are small. Thank you for watching this short video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these. I'm Max for PhysioTutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.